In this quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can grab any text, move it around, and even scale it up the way you want. And with a little trick called Magic Mask, put it behind yourself or any object or scenery in your videos. And this is not a Hollywood effect any longer. This is just a few clicks away in a free software called DaVinci Resolve. And I'm gonna show you how easily you can do it yourself step by step in this quick tutorial. So make sure to stick around to the end while we dive into DaVinci and I show you how this works. Here we are in DaVinci and I already pulled some clips into my timeline that I want to work with. So we want to put some text behind this shot here, behind myself. And what we need to do um, to do that, you should chop up the clip in a shorter version so you don't have to render so much. So, but I need the whole piece here. So this is what I would work with. And I will just copy paste it with Command C and Command V next to it. And then pull it up in a third track. So we have a track in the middle and now we go on this track and what we want to do is we want to mask um, this person here. So we go on the fusion tab and make sure you have the effects panel open here and then you're searching for a magic mask. It's already coming up and then you take it and just pull it into these lines. Make sure it is connected at the front and the end and then when you hover over the clip you should already see this little pipette and then you can just draw into the area where you want the mask to be. So this doesn't really need to be a beautiful drawing, it just need to cover the whole area where the mask should be and because it's a magic mask it's pretty smart and it does a quite amazing job. So just make sure you go into maybe some smaller parts like fingers or hairs um, well enough. And I think this is good enough. And we have a check. The mask is already good, but we can refine it. Um, you head over to the magic mask tab on the right side and then you go on better. And then we refine the range to about 45, 50. That is always a nice spot here. And then you can render it to the front and back. But if you press this button, it will render the clip to the front and back. It doesn't matter where your playhead is at the moment. Okay, and once the mask is rendered, we head back to the editing tab. And now you can see there is no mask because there, there's a clip underneath. But if we deactivate this clip, you can see there is a mask. So next thing, we need to add a text. And for that, make sure the effects panel is open and just look for a text plus effect, pull it into your track, middle track here, and maybe then make it longer as long as the track. And now you can see the text is already behind me. And now let's move to the spot where I want to start putting the title behind myself. And this is the spot but we want to change the wording here I write behind the scene and we also want to change the four into a thick big four so we can see it very well we scale it up to this size let's have a look on how this actually looks when we activate the track underneath and now as you can see I'm talking here in this video and in the moment I do the magic trick, the text is behind myself and it looks very good to me. So I'm super happy and you can play around with some animations. All right, guys, I showed you how you can put a text behind a person, object or scenery with a magic mask. And now I show you how you can animate your text. So we need another text plus effect. We pull it onto the timeline where we want the text effect to come in. So let's have a look where my hands are reaching the area. Okay, the text should be down here, we change quickly the wording, we change the four into the same one we had before and we also change the size to the size we like. And now to change the position, you go on layout up here and change the X and Y coordinates, um, which means we need it a little lower down here 
and then we add a keyframe. So at this moment, it should be down here. And at that moment, the text should be still very far up, not even in the frame. So we move the text up very far and you can see it already added another keyframe. And let's see. And because I'm staying there with my hands for a little while, we need to add another keyframe here until I move my hands and move it to the maximum side. So this is the moment where I change the X coordinates and add another keyframe. And then I move back to the next extreme position which is here. So we add another keyframe here. And in this moment, the text should be in the middle again. And there we can see I have the movement to scale it up. So I wanted the same size to here. So I changed the size keyframe should stay to here and now when I move my hands it should scale up to about this size and we leave it like that to the end of the clip and then I do the magic mask trick and zack, it's behind myself. This is how easy it is to animate text in your videos and move it around and with a magic mask even put it behind an object or scenery. And if you found this video helpful, please leave me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.